Let's adjust this camera. Hi, hi. It's Yvonne. Let me fix my camera. That's a hot mess. <laughs> Hang on. And the screen's kind of grayed out until you actually go live, and so you can't really even see, like, what is happening. <laughs> so, okay. Scoot over a little bit. Okay, it's Yvonne. I'm live. I've got a thrift haul and some brand mail. Oh my goodness. So excited. Um, it's some YouTube um, friends of mine and you guys probably know them too. So I'm pretty excited. So this is my eBay room. So, you know, just kind of ignore the mess, right? <laughs> okay, let me fix this still. This still isn't right. I don't really, I try not to get too much of that window because you know. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's just do it. Okay, so I got friend mail. I'm so excited. Hi, Noel. <laughs> I'm going to open friend mail. <laughs> How about that? One of them is from Noel. So that's awesome. Hi, Cherry Picker. Sorry for the, for the short notice. I was editing a film for tomorrow and it's scheduled to drop tomorrow about eight or nine. And then I thought, well, that's done uploading. It's scheduled for tomorrow. Let me go live because I'm behind a haul. Tomorrow's video is a thrift with me, but I still haven't done the haul from my last thrift with me. So we're going to do that. I'm still not situated right. Okay, you guys, whatever. So I have friend mail. I'm so excited. Is it raining up there? It's trying to. It's trying to. Yesterday it did too, like on and off, but bad thunder boomers. My dog does not like that. Oh my gosh. You guys, is this okay if it's if I'm a little crooked? I don't know. It's hard to set this up in advance. I am crooked. Oh well. So I got three pieces of friend mail from some fellow. Hi, Amy, from some fellow YouTubers. Noelle's one of them. <laughs> Thunder and lightning and some rain down here. Yeah, the boys are all out hiking, so I hope they don't get caught in the rain. Um, this one here, I can't talk about yet, but I'm so excited. I'm beta testing something. I'm so excited, and oh my gosh, I'm chomping at the bit. For this person to tell me, give me the green light, the thumbs up. So excited. So I'm just giving you guys a preview that there's something kind of exciting coming up, okay? And as soon as I can, we're going to open this and talk about it. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Beta testing something. So let's see. Noelle's here, so let's open up what Noelle sent me. Lindy's friend mail didn't get delivered until today. Um, you know what, Noelle? Some of my eBay shipments. Okay, I live in Colorado. I'm shipping something up this way, right? They send it to South Dakota, wherever that is, back to Denver, hello, and then to the client. And both of those clients were like, where, buyers were like, where's my stuff? And I showed them, you know, the tracking. I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know if this area shut down a um, processing center, if they had some kind of problem going on. But I hope that stops because it's making things late. Hi, Julie. I'm so excited to catch you. I've been following you for years. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just recently kicked up my YouTube channel again last year. I was always on someone else's channel and then on the reseller stew chat with the girls. But Deb's taking a break. So we're all just focusing on our own channels for now. And um, you guys, sorry, one more technical difficulty. I can't see the chat. Let me scoot this. There we go. Oh my gosh, I hate all that mess behind me. You guys don't pay no attention to that, okay? Oh, that's a hot mess. Okay, anyways, I'm just going to look at you guys. <laughs> so, no L. So, Lindy lives in the kind of the same, she's like six hours away, so it, she probably will get it. I got this a few days ago, but I've been waiting to do a live um, friend mail opening. I did a little post office. I, a lot of the little post offices down here are no longer processing. It has, oh, okay. Man, I wish they'd give us a heads up. Oh, my gosh. No L. I think I know what these are, but I didn't know the pattern. I think we're going to love these. Oh, you made one for me and one for my husband, didn't you? 
whoa, she made, she's making masks, you guys. Noelle, are you selling these too? Are these for sale? Are you selling these on eBay or on your Instagram? Tell us, okay, and I'll say it out loud. I didn't use StreamYard where I can put the, um, I should have, where I could put chat comments up. I'm sorry. Next time I'll do that. You are fancy. Look, you guys, she's fancy with hers. So they don't, we can adjust it because you know how some of them hurt your ears. Oh my gosh, a Grateful Dead. Noel, these are nicely done in a little pocket where you can put in your own filters. Girl. And then skulls. I guess this one's for my husband. Oh my gosh. And a little bit bigger because he does have like mustache and everything. Okay. I'm selling them $15 and $280 shipping. I'm telling you it's worth it. I bought one off of eBay, which I love too, for $10. These are superior. Yours are superior. I love this. I love this. Because some of them hurt your ears after a while. Oh my gosh. And I love the way you made the pouch where we can put in filters if we want to. So go girl, farm girl scavenger, Noel, you can find her on Instagram. Is it the same? It's just farm girl scavenger on Instagram, isn't it? So put that, make sure you put that in there. Oh, hug, hug, kiss, kiss. I love you. I've known Noel for a couple years now. I've met Noel in person. Can I read this? Can I read this? <laughs> I'm going to read it. Thanks for being such a wonderful, beautiful soul. One for you and one for your husband. Love you, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put this with my posters, my postcards. I've only got two so far. Nobody sends me postcards yet. I want to build a postcard wall. But I've got a couple. I'm going to add that to it. Awesome. I know I'm not going to put on my husband's because I got makeup on. I have a lot, a lot of makeup on right now. Oh, and it's stretchy. I didn't even catch that. These bungees, not only do they have the adjuster, they're stretchy. Girl, that's worth it. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute that is. I love it. I'm going to wear this one instead of my other one now. Noelle, you're the best. You guys, go get you a cool mask in different fabrics. Oh, I don't want to put that on. My husband's going to like this one, though. <laughs> the skulls, you know. Oh, that was so awesome. Okay. Make sure I've got up top. Okay. And this is from Fat Bird Finds. Oh, my gosh. This is from Mary Beth and Laura. I don't think they're here. I love their channel. They're almost at a thousand. We really need to work to get them there. Fat bird finds. I've done some collabs with them. I try my best to hang out and they're flipping and sipping where we play games. It's hilarious. And then also they have great hauls. Um, Laura's mom owns an antique um, vintage store there in Kentucky. Oh my gosh. They had this Harley t-shirt and I said, oh, how much is that? I wanted to buy it. I love this because it's not, um, I'm trying to be more colorful and not wear black all the time. Let's see, Katie and Vicky got theirs today. Check out LB Pink Peacock. Oh, I will. I'll go see what you got, Vicky and Katie. Oh, I love this. It's nice and sheer for summer and it's colorful. So, okay, they just sent it to me as friend mail, but I'll, I'll somehow I'll get them a gift or some kind of money or whenever they get their thousand and can do their super chat. I'll try to be their first super chat. Oh, I might wear this one tomorrow. I love this. No skulls and it's really colorful and sheer. It's a burnout. Yeah, see, it's that burnout fabric. Oh my gosh. I love the reseller community. I have met, wait a minute, what does it say on the back? Who's it from? London, Kentucky. <laughs> Wildcat Harley Davidson. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. Laura. And Mary Beth, if you watch this later, thank you so much. I love you girls, too. I love the research community. For the most part, everybody's great. There's always a few bad apples everywhere in any community. But for the most part, we're great. We're supportive. We help each other. We do fundraisers when, when one of our people, you know, needs help. It's great. So, yes, thank you so much. 
Oh, it will. <laughs> You're right. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Yes, that's my ensemble the next time I go out. Thank you so much. Noelle's the best. You can see her on other people's channels too. I can't remember off, right off the hand, but you can catch Noelle on other people's channels. Maybe she'll say it in the chat. Well, that was fun. It's always fun to get some friend mail. I appreciate that. So y'all send me a postcard. Okay. So the thrift haul. Um, I don't have any housekeeping. I think we're all up to date on everything. We've talked about eBay, Black Americana, be careful of. Add Eskimo. Now, I don't know how eBay feels about it, but my husband told me on the news he heard. Um, did you send one to Happy Cow Girl? Oh, my gosh. She's so sweet. She deserves one, too. She's awesome. Um, but he heard on the news that some people, there's an uprising now about Eskimos for, for like, being politically correct, too. So, um I don't know if eBay will come out on that, too. We have to say things like, I don't think the verdict's out of what the protesters want on this, whether it's naming the Indian tribes, Inuit and whatnot, or Alaskan American. I'm not sure. But we might want to keep an eye on that on eBay and see if eBay comes out with a stance on that. Okay. Thrift haul. That's all the housekeeping I have. Sales have been okay. A little bit slow last week, but, you know, we can expect that during holidays, holidays where people divert money to maybe going out to eat, even though there's like, you know, the pandemic still, a lot of people are going back out to eat and whatnot or having, spending money on food. And so unless you had a Father's Day gift or something for Juneteenth, you might've saw a dip in sales as everyone's money kind of went that way, right? So, but they're picking back up. So I've got a small store. So I usually sell at least one item a day two or three when it's good. Sometimes on the weekend, I'll do more, but I'm at about 404 listings right now. I'm, I'm right at that point where I've got so much to list. Plus I'm selling when you sell something and then relist something else to maintain your listing amount that has to all go together too. So like, okay, so say you have 400 listings and you think, okay, I'm still okay. But what if you've sold in the last month? This, um, fiscal month, so to speak. What if you've sold a hundred items? You know what I mean? You're starting to get to where your listings might cost money regardless of, you know, they've given us a bunch of free listings right now, but you know, under normal conditions. So I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, I either have to level up my store, which is a huge jump monetarily. Like it's huge. It's a commitment. There's nothing in between the basic and the, um, Premiere, and it's a pretty significant jump in cost, more of listings than I would really need. But to justify the cost, you know, you've got to hustle some more. And I'm just not really wanting to hustle that much. So I'm still kind of riding it out at my 10 cents per listing. Right now, nothing, right? Because we have the free listings. But when that ends, we have to be careful because if we've loaded it up past our store subscription and they end that and we forget to kind of either bump up in a store subscription or cherry pick what listings we're going to allow to, you know, go back up. We could get caught with an unexpected bill. Anyways. So, oh, I sold something on Poshmark. Oh my gosh. I haven't done that for about a month. I haven't even listed anything on Poshmark, but I do go in every day, like check, check things over, whatever, put out some best offers. Um, refresh some listings so that it shows I have activity, but I haven't listed anything new over there. Okay. But I just told something. So, all right, you guys, that was friend mail. Um, one item before I get into the haul, I got, okay. I wanted something kind of cowgirl westerny, but not too crazy. Something that I could use for a boho look and for summer. Oh, I found it on eBay. This was $3. I don't even understand. This is an awesome shirt I'm going to show you. Why $3? That's barely worth your time to list. But anyways, oh, it's not buttoned up because I tried it on. It's a sheer cowgirl shirt. So sheer for summer. And um, a little bit of bling, embroidered bling. I'm so happy. So this 
I could make a nice little boho outfit out of, right? And the sleeves are long enough for me. Us tall girls, we have issues with sleeve length. So I'm super happy. This is a good brand too. It's, um, I don't know how to say the last. Cheryl's Survey, Are You Apparel? This stuff has some decent resale value too. So it's XXL, but when I look at the measurements, I'm like, no, that's about a large extra large. So $3, perfect. So I'm really happy. There's some good deals out there to be found on eBay. And also, if you see something you like, do like me, just like it. Because now we also have send offers, send best offers out. So there's, there's something I really like, but I'm like, mm, I don't really like that deal. Instead of sending an offer, if they even allow that, I'll just like it. And sure enough, in a day or two, here comes an offer, right? So I've been getting things for myself or to resell that way. Okay, so I'm happy about that. All right, let's get to the haul. Let's do a few clothing pieces and then we'll do the rest. <clears throat> let's see, there's 10 of you here. Some of you don't talk much, but hi, I see you. Um, Jinko, this brand, I believe, went out of business. I don't know if someone else bought them and resurrected them or if they changed their mind but last year they went out of they were going out of business and having a sale on their site this is a 90s skater brand but these and they sell well when i get the big jinko flared crazy skater jeans um for the boys they usually sell mm, 40 to 60 dollars these are girls i've never seen a girl's pair so they're just a girl's pair of bell bottoms and some people have Somebody has these up for $80, but not sold. These won't sell as quickly as if they were men's, okay? But um, but they will sell, definitely. I paid $6.99. So I'll probably fall in line with the other two sellers, but then very open to a best offer, you know, anything around 40 ish um, Again, the women's don't sell as well as the men's. But you'll recognize them. They'll be crazy, wide leg kind of, Capri-ish looking for men and um, have crazy like embroider more than this all over it. You definitely want to find those. They're getting a little bit harder to find in the thrift stores, but when you do pick them up, okay, they're worth 40 to 60 bucks, maybe more if it's something super epic. Okay. Is the chat okay? It's not moving. Okay. So there's another clothing item. Let me do a few more clothing items and then we'll get on to the other stuff. I've got some really fascinating finds. I really do. Um, some surprises. Definitely some surprises for me. I'm trying to get to the clothes. I, the clothing is wrapping up some of this stuff. So excuse me for a minute. There's my receipts I have to save. Ah. Okay, now I got to the clothes. I got some free people. That's why I'm excited. I got some free people. Um, uh, I'll just show you this real quick. I'm giving this to um, the eldest daughter. I, I send her cute little things every once in a while. This is just an apartment 19. So is that Kohl's? Apartment 19? Kohl's or J.C. Penney? Anyways, but it's a nice Ponte fabric and black floral always does well. But I'm getting this for her. She looks awesome in these little dresses. And I think she's going to like this colorway on this, the black um, floral. I love it, too. It was only $6.99. So this isn't a high-end label at all. But sometimes when, it, you know, when the style is epic and Ponte fabric is great. If you don't know what Ponte is, it's like a light... I don't want to say scuba fabric because it's a lot lighter, stretchier, and more comfortable. And plus this shape, this fit and flare skater is still popular. So this, I probably could sell this on Poshmark for probably, especially if they're done selling them at the store they come from. Um, I might even get 30 for it, but this is going to someone else. But I'm just showing you because that's fashion coolness. Um, two t-shirts for myself, but I want to talk about it because I am a big proponent of don't buy cheap, like not cheap, watch your fabric. 
once you start buying things in a better fabric and it doesn't have to be expensive because like this is just an old navy but it's their old navy luxe where they copied american eagle outfitters um sexy tea line and double stretch nice cool fabric that's why it's just a basic tee but when you're wearing stuff like this comfort is everything and once you've had some things like this you'll be like okay i get it now it's a dollar 99 so anyways old navy luxe it's a little bit better line within old navy we all know old navy's not expensive but they do copy a lot of the best sellers that the youthful and collegiate crowd likes, such as American Eagle Outfitter and you know things like that. So this is a nice slinky, so comfortable t-shirt. Um, and then again, just a pretty color one. This is an American Eagle Outfit. So this is their favorite tee. And again, just the fabric content is awesome. So these do resell. Not for a lot, but they sell pretty quick. American Eagle outfit, the, you know, the jeans are still doing well with the younger people. But this and their sexy tee, so comfortable, double stretch. So that's just me adding color to my wardrobe and telling you, you know, if you want to sell some bread and butter stuff, those do well for quick bread and butter. Now, are you guys still there? <laughs> okay, this is a free people um they must have just missed it i got two epic free peoples well the other one's epic this one's okay 4.99 usually they catch their free people goodwill does and they price it up this is a cute little off the shoulder crop top with a built-in shelf bra the young girls still love free people us older girls probably would too if they would make like their sizing is so small and i don't know if they make xxl and stuff like that i don't know and plus some of it has a really cool boho look. So Free People is still doing strong. Lots of different labels, but typically you can tell by that, you know, copper, little copper tag. Now, one of the Kardashian lines is copying this copper tag. And then there's one called Poof that copies. The quality is not there and it's a little bit bigger, but you'll see it out of the corner of your eye and you'll be like, oh, Free People. But no, it's Poof, a little bit bigger. Um, and there's different tags besides just the copper, of course. And then also there's different divisions of free people, like We the Free, what else? There's, there's more, um, but they're lower end. They're beach line. But anyways, this will sell. I'll probably, if I can remember, I'll put this on Poshmark as well. Yeah, American Eagle still does well. The jeans, they still do well. And I wasn't crazy about the pocket Um design you know i'm kind of picky about that but i tried to pair on that i got at the thrift store and they happened to be really long and i was like oh i get it this was last year i'm like i get it those jeans the reason the young girls love them so much they're stretchy they're comfortable a good silhouette and they lift your butt they they have engineered those to be little butt lifter jeans that's why they look good on everybody and that's why the young girls all love them so I did keep that pair. I haven't ever worn them, but they're a darker wash than I like. I'm trying to fade them and make them more 70s cool color, but I don't know if they will because they have a lot of elastane in them because they stretch. Anyways, free people probably put this up for about 30. But now this one, oh my gosh, this one is gorgeous. I'd be tempted to keep it if it fit me. Let me show you guys this one. This one I'm probably going to put more like 50 or 60. I paid $5.99. It's also a free people. Let me back up. Look at this precious top. Oh my goodness. So this one's going to get go for more money. Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to start this probably at around 50 or 60 and see if I can pull that off for free people. That should be reasonable. Hi, Tony. And then this doesn't have a tag on it $5.99 i don't know if it's homemade or vintage but this little um sheer like jacket not really a shrug almost not really um i think this will go good not just for vintage girls i'm pretty sure this will sell too i'll probably put this up for about 36 dollars and you know take any take around 30 
but I know if this was a little bit smaller, I would be tempted to send this as friend mail to um, the one Selena on Recycled Life. She loves this feminine stuff. And I don't think she has a lot of black. She loves the feminine stuff, lots of pastels and stuff. I think she could use a black one. Anyway, so that's the clothing. That was fun. I thought that was great. Oh. <laughs> So again, I'm trying not to wear black all the time. I'm trying to get a little more fun with my wardrobe. This might be too youthful. It's not a high-end brand, but it's super cute. I'm going to try. I've got a little Buddha belly. I can wear it up or I can wear it like this. I'll probably do this. We'll see. I don't know if that's too youthful. But what I like is I have a little Buddha belly. So this scrunchy stretch empire waist. And then flares out that hides our little bellies okay that makes us look a little slender and then hides our little bellies <laughs> so i'm like oh i'm gonna try it so if it looks okay on me hi nathaniel hi nate if it looks okay on me i'll keep it if not i'll put it up for sale it's probably just 20 bucks sure 15 20 bucks it's not a brand name but for five dollars i'm gonna see if i can branch out a little bit and you know, <laughs> wear something, wear some patterns, wear some more color. Oh, I'm a little nervous, but we'll see. If you see me wearing it, great. If not, <laughs> okay. So now to the hard goods. Let's do this glass. I've got something really exciting. This, what did I pay for that? $1.99. Art, it was in the art glass base. It's really a bucket. Um, this is a Murano, believe it or not, but it's new Murano, and they it's Benassini, Benassini, oh, I hope I'm saying that right, I saved it on my phone, and they made these for Di Serrano, that's Amaretto, right, Amaretto liquor, Di Serrano, if I'm saying it right, I guess it maybe it came with a, like, a gift set or something, but, you know, you put your bottle in that, and they only sell for about $20, $25, but no two are exactly alike with the striping. And, um, you know, it is mofo beast. I'm going to pop some tags. I only got 20 in my pocket. Okay. I don't know if I know you, but as long as you're good, then Noel won't kick you out. <laughs> so, um, anyways, so that's why I went for this. It's pretty. I sell modern glass. I sold a modern glass vase just the other day. So I'll just put this in the queue with the other. There's a lot of them. I think it came in two different colors. Yeah, it's a collab. It's a special collab by a Murano glass maker um, for Di, Di Serrano. I don't know if I'm saying it. Um, Amaretto. So it's new. It's modern. Probably a gift set, like I said. It was only $1.99 and it's pretty. I need some help with this one. So it kind of looks like a jack in the pulpit, sort of, loosely. I guess you, you could say that. There's probably a more technical, purist name for this because normally I think more angled for jack in the pulpit. It has a very clear, smooth pontal, but I can't find anything with this square. So I don't want to say... Like, I don't want to say it's vintage. I just don't know. But even if it's, you know, more like an import or something, it's still cute enough, pretty colorway. I don't know if you can see. And um, I'm still working with this, but it was only $1.99. So this right here, you know, has a vintage-like vibe to it. But I haven't seen that except for, like, on Murano Summer So which this is not. So I'll keep working with this. Let me show one more time. If anybody, it's cased glass. That's not flash. It's not showing. It's more of a turquoise color. Nate, if you recognize it, if anybody recognizes, you know, that square chunk, it's quite heavy too. So I took a chance on that. Again, I can sell modern glass too, if it's nice looking. So I don't worry about it. This is another heavy piece. I paid $1.99 for this. This, 
okay, I don't know what to say about it. Just let me show you why. There's some kind of silver coin in there. Um, it's not American. So I need to clean it up so I can read the words. And then if I can't figure it out, you know, image search or whatever, I'll send a little picture of it to people that I know deal in coins that might take the time to help me with that. Um, you know, Todd Silver Stacker, maybe Drew Digger Drew from, you know, Crazy Lamp Lady's boyfriend. He does coins. So, but let me clean that silver up so I can read the writing. So I just felt like for $1.99, let's take a chance on that. It could be that coin is worth more than $1.99, right? So, oh, does George, hi, Teresa. I, does George do coins too? Speaking of George, it's Wednesday. That's where I will be for his premiere. I hope. I Oh, my gosh. I hope. Nate, has he scheduled a premiere for tonight? Usually it's Wednesday night, but I think he's on the road doing a show. Anyways, it, let me see if I can get that to focus. If you recognize that anything on that already, it's an eagle with a snake, then help a sister out. <laughs> Anyways, $1.99 is worth a try, right? It's kind of cool. It's got bubbles in it, not controlled bubbles. No dents or anything. The pontal's crazy. Like, you know, it's not a smooth pontal or anything. Not that that necessarily, you know, means anything. Um, let's stick with glass because this was cool. Okay, you guys. This. Okay. It's not real clear, beautiful glass. And I put it in the cart. And then when I was going through my cart, it's a kind of eagle with a snake is Mexican emblem, I think. So it's probably some kind of peso. Might not even be worth a dollar ninety nine. I don't know. I think it has it'll have some value. I mean, I can get my money back for sure. Not that that's always the goal. I mean, hello, but I sometimes I just can't help myself and pass up something that I think is cool and unusual. Okay, back to this. And so I'm whole, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's two ninety nine. I don't even know. Like, is this from the Dollar Tree? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm holding it up to the light and I put it down. I just I don't know. I picked it back up for some reason, looked at it against the window again, and I saw the etching. This is a fire and light. <clears throat> fire and light. Please, if you don't know that, glass, recycled glass makers. Okay, I'm like a little kid. Seriously. Look that up because some of their stuff has great resale value. Um, somebody's bidding on one of these now in a different color. I think it's up to $80 the last time I looked. So the reason it looks kind of, you know, cheapish is because they use recycled glass. And it's barely etched fire and light. So when I was, okay, this doesn't end there. So I bought it. Hello. So then I got to thinking, I was looking at all their listings because I wanted to be familiar with everything else fire and light does when I saw those resale values. And I saw this in blue sell for about 50. Some people have them cheaper, but somebody sold one recently for 50. And I'm like, what? I have four of these. I've had these for years. They're just down in a box. Any, I was thinking, you know, I buy some things that I think are cute, always thinking I'm going to have a party, right? So I went down and got them and I really analyzed all the details and these are fire and light too sometimes they didn't etch it's a little bit cheaper line but they're called jewelry caches oh you know what audra and i was thinking about it i said i think someone told me about fire and light it was either you or isis and maybe that it stuck in my brain but not fully and that's why i kept putting this down picking it up putting it down, picking it up. I like, I couldn't leave it behind, even though I didn't love it. I'm like, that just looks like something from the Dollar Tree. Until I, you know, again, I saw the fire and light. It was either you or Isis. Yes, it's recycled glass. And then in my stock, in my own personal stock, I didn't even know where I've got four of them. <laughs> so I'm going to give these up. I'm going to list these too. These, they're called, they call them jewelry caches. I was going to use them for like little dessert dishes at some kind of dinner party that I think I'm 
not really a dinner party. This is it. Poker player. And I was, I have a bunch of poker, professional poker stuff. And before dad moved in, I was going to use my um, fancy living room, you know, that he's in my formal living room to have um, in-house poker parties with the girls. And so I was buying some cool serving things. I remember now that's because it was in my cabinet with all my poker stuff. So, ah. Yeah, when someone's when something's nagging you, like listen, just listen. Okay, so that was super exciting. So that's some money maker right there. This I made a mistake on. It caught my eye because if you watch Jocelyn, most of us do, crazy lamp lady, you know, she's been on a really big kick on Czechoslovakia pottery. She's been finding it left and right. I don't know if there's a large Czech community. In Pennsylvania or something but she just finds it everywhere this didn't have you know any painting on it but I said you know that looks like the stuff that she picks up it looks Danish or Scandinavian or that check so I turned it over I paid too much $5.99 I turned it over you won't be able to read all this but it's from England let it focus that says a lot wait a minute <laughs> patent pending England blah 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 all the little patents it's too hard to read but this is called a cozy c-o-s-y hi fat bird five I just talked about you earlier because I opened up friend mail and I got my shirt and so I'm begging everybody let's get you to a thousand so that you can get super chat so that I can give you your first super chat <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna send you something oh I don't know a paint my number Never mind. Unfortunately, these, <laughs> these only sell for about $20 or so. Hi, Laura. Yeah, and I told them earlier, you know, about your guys' videos, you're sipping and flipping in the games, and that your mom has an antique store there in Kentucky. I hope something's going on in Kentucky, too. I can't remember what it was. It was in the news yesterday. Was it a statue thing, or was it early voting y'all got y'all were in the news that area was in the news i don't know what's going on but i hope everything's okay i'm not going to take this back because i just don't do that there's no chips or anything i'll just put it in the queue on ebay and one of these years it'll sell too i think i'm the only one that has an orange one maybe that'll work for me but unfortunately as awesome as these are they only sell for resell for about 20. They're from England. They're patent pending. And they have their own little name. Cozy. C-O-S-Y. Oh, well. Can't win them all, right? Paid to learn a little. I'll try to get my money back on that. Um, <laughs> let me put my glasses on real quick. I got some new readers, too. I love these. I love these. I like these. They're a little bit bigger. They might be men's. And for readers, just readers from Walmart, they have the nose piece on them. And I usually buy them at the Dollar Tree. And I got to quit doing that because the clarity is not there. But I break them so much, I would just always buy them from the Dollar Tree. But the clarity is not there. These have spring hinge. They have UV protection. They have the little nose things. Those are kind of cute, right? Yeah, so $10 at Walmart. So these are my new ones. I like them. I don't need to see far away. I had Lasix. I got like 2015 in one eye. But, you know, when you get older, you run out of arm. I might get those. Um, thank you. <laughs> I might get those um, contacts that are non-prescription on one side and near far-sided on the other, you know, and they kind of, they're weighted. I don't know. I do not want to fall. I don't want to fall. Okay, let's talk about this. I haven't peeled off the label to see whose it is. I don't want to do that and break a nail. It was finally made it to the half price. I've seen it and seen it and seen it. So it was $2. Finally, I bought it. Um, it's made in Japan. It is cute. And it's got a cute theme on it, right? But I just felt like it's probably only worth $15 or so. We'll see. I can't, I don't want to break a nail, but there is a name under there. I might get a surprise, but this is my thought. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cute. It would probably sell, right? But oh my gosh, it's been there forever. 
and nobody else wanted it. So I'm like, is that a hint? Like, I don't know. And then I tell myself, well, you know, this is just Colorado people didn't want it. When we put things on eBay, that's global. So I'm like, I'm going to save you before you get broken. Somehow you've managed to make it. Lilies are popular. Some pastels are kind of coming back in. It is, it is enameled. It's like a fake closing A. The gold is perfect too. All right, you guys, hang on. Let me try to get that. So for $2, dang it. No, I'm going to break a nail. I'll tell you guys later what name on that was underneath. Here, maybe some of you recognize that half of it. I don't know. <laughs> Made in Japan was helpful. I just found your channel. Thrifty loving this. Hello, y'all. Hi, Butterfly Nurse. Thank you. I have been advertising. I have been. So thank you. I'm glad it's working. How did you find it? From someone else or from YouTube recommendation? So am I getting my money's worth, I hope? <laughs> That's a cute name, by the way. <laughs> Butterfly Nurse. Oh, speaking of, are you really a nurse? Are you working? If you are, hang in there, girl. Uh, YouTube, um, Google ads. Yeah, which, you know, YouTube and Google are the same. But you can pay a little bit. I can talk to you about that, Laura, if you need to know how. Um, it's, you know, it's not cheap, but it's not crazy amount of money. You know, and, you know, eventually we'll get it back because once you get enough followers, you know, the YouTube AdSense money really kicks in. So, because you know, we all know a lot of YouTubers and I know a lot of big YouTubers and I know how much they make. Hats off to Butterfly Nurse. Yeah, if you're still, if you are still working, um, girl or guy or them, <laughs> so if you're not binary them, um, stay safe, okay? And thank you. Okay, I'll update you later on that. This probably wasn't the smartest either. It was a dollar on sale for $1.25 though. No name on it. I just thought it was adorable. It's some kind of teapot or creamer and it does have a lid so i like that okay i can't get it off with these nails but it's a little creamer i'm probably only going to get about 15 dollars if i'm lucky so but it's just adorable it won't kill me if i have to keep it or put it in my own booth when i do that next year i am a nurse the world is crazy now isn't it sweet teresa I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> and it's in good shape. Yeah, things are crazy. Where do you live, butterfly? Where do you live? Oh, it's hot in here. Hang on, you guys. While well, she tells us where she lives. Okay, let's see where she lives. I hope you live in an area where things are calming down. I'm in Colorado. We're not in too bad a shape right now. I'm going to go on. That's what she tells us, but I want to know. Because we want to give her props. Okay, $2.99. You could probably get more for the bunny creamer closer to Easter. I'll just be patient, Audrey. You're right. Because it's pretty cute. No one has one like it. There's no name on it. Um, I did do reverse image search and just couldn't. Nobody could come up with it. So maybe on uniqueness, I might get a surprise, right? It's adorable. Okay. Anything with the tag still on it. And the signature, I got to look at. We have to look at it, right? Well, this turns out to be pretty good. Let me tell you what it is. I'm going to bring it in and let you guys look. Hang on. I Googled it. Some of them sell for over $100. There's different themes. Bensini. The zest for living and robust sense of humor in these detailed Italian ceramic figurines come from the master himself. It is authentic only when signed, Venicini. And then there's some more information on the back. Imported from, import, imported by someone in California. This one's A77 TV sports fan. So I, that's kind of cute. So he's um, kicking the TV. Watching baseball, I guess, by the cap. What's in his hand? Is that a beer? I guess that's a probably a beer or a soda. <laughs> but there's lots of different themes. Nobody has this exact one. So we'll see where this falls. It's in perfect condition. 
and you know, still new with tags, so that's great. $2.99. So I don't think I need to focus too much on the name because any of us resellers would be smart enough to give this a closer look, right? But it's super cute. So it's not porcelain, it's some kind of clay. Is that red wear almost? I don't know. So $2.99. We'll see what happens to that one. <laughs> but he's screaming at the TV, so that's funny. Oh, this is a winner, too. Let's do what's not a winner, but it's cute. I paid $1.99. I just thought it was adorable. There are some of them already for sale on eBay. So it's not a big money maker, but it's adorable. Mine's in great shape. So nobody else seems to attribute it to a maker yet. But this should give us a little bit of a clue. I'll still work with it, but it's cute. I may only get about $20 for it. It may be something I put in my booth. You know, once I do that, hopefully next year, if everything goes right. Um, and then, you know, if I do that, I'll pull some items that haven't sold or are big or are shipping maybes, right? But I can't leave stuff like this behind. Too cute. Sorry. <laughs> I might not be your role model on that one. Okay. Um, Oscar de la Renta. It's a little bit older of a perfume. Still available. I paid $2.99. I wore this in the late 80s and 90s, and it still smells good. It still smells pretty relevant to today. You know, it's not like, oh, you know, great grandma perfume. You know, not to be rude. I don't want to say that. That is so rude. Like, I don't understand mom jeans and, like, not your dad's this, not your mother's that. I don't know. I guess I should because when we were younger, we probably felt the same way. We wanted to do anything that's different from our parents unless it involved making money, <laughs> right? So, anyways, it's full. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep that for myself. Some perfumes have great resale value, though. We know that, right? We know that. But this one's not one of them that's going to have a great resale value. I'm just saving some money. I think I can get this at Ross for like $24.99 this size. I'm just saving some money for myself. I, I remember this and I like it. Clothing designer, Oscar de la Renta. So I, that house is still in production, right? So I'm going to save this for a minute. George helped me. Okay. We are almost done. Oh, I got jewelry. I forgot I got jewelry. Oh, I forgot. Okay, this was another boo-boo. I've never sold, found, or sold a Schumann piece. So I got this with the reticulated. The painting was fine. Unfortunately, I paid $249. Unfortunately, there's a ton of them. I might be lucky if I get $10, $15. So let that focus. In case you, okay, it says Schumann. Schumann Barbaria. I see Jocelyn pick up this, some other people. So tried my hand at it, but this is not a Schumann winner. Nothing's wrong with it, though. So I'll try to, you know, go ahead and sell it for a little bit. Might take a while because there's a lot of them. So hopefully if I put mine cheap enough, somebody will be like, okay, I want yours, 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 any bonds. <laughs> so, okay. So, okay. That was not perfect, but I can save myself. I can save myself. I got a few things that I can be redeemed. This is a Homer Loglin. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Homer Loglin. I hear Jeffrey and Jocelyn and Misty talk about this. Um, it's called Rhythm. I paid $2.99. It was a gift to somebody, Sandy Dale in 1997. But the reason I like this one, it's, it's not, some of their basic plates don't sell for a whole lot. It depends on what it is. But I have never seen this theme and I didn't see anything like it online. That's a Western like theme. There's mountains, there's cactus, cowboy stuff. So I'm like, I'm definitely getting that one. Homer Laughlin. Yeah, have you ever seen a Homer Laughlin with this kind of theme. So I think 
I did pretty well for my first Homer Laughlin. I think this will get a little bit more money than usual. That's really cute. And it's, I mean, it's transfer, but it's perfect. It has not been overused or overwashed at all. It's adorable. So I'm kind of happy with my first Homer Laughlin because of the design on it. It's a little more unique than most of them that I saw on eBay. Because of that. And then this one, okay. <clears throat> Rico presents, Reco, R E C O, the Sophisticated Ladies Collection. This is Samantha. She is numbered. This is from 1985. Their plates don't always sell for a whole lot. This one is artist signed Al Aldo Fazio, and I love the black Siamese and the lily. This makes this one a winner in my mind. I think I can get a little bit more than your average reco, reco plate. So isn't that adorable? Really good shape. I like it being artist signed. Art deco motif on the fonts. So what did I pay? $2.99. I felt like that was okay. It's just adorable. Let me show you. The, so artist signed. Let me show you the back again. I don't know if you can see the name, R-E-C-O, and it's numbered there. Okay. I mean, not super high-end, but so adorable. I think that's the beauty of being part-time and this not being, you know, my only source of income is those of us that do it like this, like we can really have fun with it. And sometimes we can afford to save a piece that we just really like or, you know, or try our hand at something new. Excuse me just a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So there's the plates. Okay, I'm going to show you this piece. And then I've got jewelry. If anybody wants to stick around for jewelry, I've got a few pieces of jewelry. Western Log Cabin Lodge, right? Okay. So I recognized this as Japanese redware. You guys probably will too, right? I think the signature marking is there. We're supposed to read it left, right, bottom up, something like that. But this is antique, just on the border of antique. It's a dollar fifty-nine. I've seen Jocelyn find some, and I thought George showed us something like this before on one of his videos. So I knew to get it definitely. I knew it was way more than dollar fifty-nine. Surprised to find out that it's antique, so um, 20s to 30s, so just barely. Um, some of this kind of stuff, it's called um, Gawa Sudama. Don't quote me, something like that. Gawa Sudama. If you guys, uh, I was gonna look it up real quick, but I talked, I showed it to George, and he gave me a quick thumbs up on it and said, Yes, use those two terms, you are right, you did, you know, basically telling me I did well. And so I, if he's having his live tonight, that's why you'll see me tip him out because he answered quickly and I don't like to bother my reseller friends that I know are busy, you know, but that's, that was who I went to and he took the time, you know, to give me a quick answer. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to tip him out for that tonight. I don't want to take advantage of my friends. So when you see something like this, it looks old and beat up. If you're not familiar, get it. And it's not just mugs. It's lots of different stuff, okay? I really should take the time for any of you that don't know. I really should take the time. If anybody knows, can you type it? If you already know, can you type this? Because I'll lose the chat. I want to type those two words in so that people know how to look it up on eBay to look at solds and what's for sale and see and ed be educated. I'm so sorry. I've already edited and uploaded a video. It's scheduled for tomorrow. I went thrifting the other day. The thrift with me video is already loaded. It's scheduled for tomorrow around eight, nine o'clock. So a little 20 minute thrift with me. Okay, so I'm excited about that. So that wasn't too bad of a haul because I've got some money makers and I'm really excited about this one. I'm not gonna keep this. This is my first fire and light recycled glass. Well, if you don't count the ones I had for years and didn't even know, these little, what they call jewelry cachets. I'm going to sell those too. But I'm going to go ahead and sell this. If it was cobalt, I'd be tempted to add it to my wall for a while. But I'm going to go ahead and sell it. 
Okay, you guys want to take a look at jewelry real quick? How long have we been? Almost an hour. Wow, it wasn't that much stuff. So I opened friend mail first. I went through Epic Clothing, a few pieces that I bought for myself. And one, some of you will be surprised, and some free people. And then we did the glass and the ceramics. So now if you want to hang out, I've got some jewelry. One of the friend mails I talked about, if you missed it in the beginning, is um, I'm, I get to be a beta tester for something that someone in the community has come up with that is awesome. No one else has done anything like it. I think it's going to be good. He's working on the website, and as soon as he does that, I can talk about it. But I got my packet, my um, beta testing packet last week. So I'm so excited to start using it and tell you guys about it. As soon as he says go, I'm going. <laughs> you guys are going to be excited about it. Okay. If you want to look at jewelry, I've got about eight pieces. I handpicked it. I popped in early on their Saturday half price sale because I knew they had some jewelry bags that were only $24.99. I, I got there too late because they would have been $12.50. Got there too late. The only ones that were left were like little kids' baubles. They were $7.99. They would have been $4. But they were literally like Mardi Gras beads and Pokemon whatevers. But let me show you what I did get because I'm pretty happy. Okay. Got some silver. Let me put my glasses back on, you guys. You guys still there? The chat doesn't move. <laughs> Sometimes I only have, I don't have very many watchers right now, so you know the chat doesn't move a lot. Like when I'm, like when Lindy's on, you know I'm her mod. Zip, zip, zip. I can't even hardly keep up with it. Okay, so I got a few pieces here. Some of it is silver, so I was pretty happy about that. Everything I chose was half price, half price color tag that day. Oh, good one, Yvonne. Just dump everything in there. I, it wasn't a bag. All right, you guys bear with me. But there's some cute pieces here. Talk amongst yourselves for just a second. Because <laughs> I got some cute pieces, and some of you might want to catch it before it goes for sale. Because any day now, I'm going to sit down and list all my jewelry. Oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess with this jewelry business. All right, here, this is loose. Let's start here. This, I, I haven't tested this yet. I think this is sterling silver according to other listings. This is a Mickey Mouse band. It says MM Mickey Mouse. It's got, hang on. There we go. MM. Don't look at my nails. It's time to change them. A crown. Mickey Mouse. There he is. Disney people are like, they love their Disney stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is silver. And I'll test it. But even if it's not, it's still worth about $20. Even if it's not silver. But I do have some silver and gold. I was shocked. This, I, it was $22.99, so I paid half price. What is that, $11.50? But this is gold, this is silver and gold, and it is marked as such. Let me bring this in. Okay. This is silver and then gold, too. It's that tricolor, too. And it is marked on the back 925 silver. You won't be able to see it. And the other side is marked um, 14K gold. So I felt like that's, and with it being a crown, um, I mean a cross, I'm like, yeah, I that's that's okay for 11 something with gold and silver, right? Very pretty filigree looking thing. You can see the quality even on the camera, right? Yeah, Lisa, you can tell, right? So I know that's a lot to pay, but for gold and silver, I mean, just a little bit of gold, that's worth it. I've got two more silver pieces and one I'm not sure of. Let me show you the one I'm not sure of. I tested it, but I couldn't really tell. I'm going to have to test it again. That's this one. Okay, you guys get it. I'm going to have to test it again. I feel like it is, and the chain looks good too. But now these two are. This is like a 70s. 
this is like a 70s. Some of you might remember these with the chip, little chips of coral, if that's what it is. And um, let it focus. Okay, come on now. Yeah, with the little chips in it. That's cute, little butterfly. Very 70s. I remember these. You could get them like at carnivals and stuff. Might be like probably Mexican or something. But what did I pay for that? It says 925 on the sticker. Where's the, okay? I paid 499 half price, so 250. So that was worth a chance. <laughs> Am I getting it? And if you guys are late, you do have to back up when this is over because one of my other fan mails besides Fat Bird Fine sending me the cutest Harley shirt and then the surprise beta testing that I can't talk about yet um, was Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, and she is making the best mask ever. Bungees, adjustable, larger size, a pocket where we can put in our own filters, and she made really cute colors, and she's selling them on her Instagram, Farm Girl Scavenger. Okay, let's see if this helps. Yeah, there we go. So you guys probably remember this stuff from the 70s, maybe early 80s. Okay, and then uh, this one is silver too. So $12.99, I paid $6.50. I love this one too. I think someone, uh, this should sell. It's clearly marked. I'll have to work on what those, what that stone is. Some kind of agate probably. That's pretty, isn't it? So, and it is marked. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Yeah, you can see. So, not a bad day at the jewelry inlay on the butterfly or this heart, Julie. But I'm pretty happy to get, you know, if I can get cute silver necklaces, you know, for that cheap $250, $650, and then, you know, a gold, one with gold on it too, $11.50. It'd be better if I if it was in a jewelry bag, you know, and it's like, surprise. Oh, my gosh. They will sell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Okay. Now, this tested at 14 karat gold, maybe gold filled. Oh, I wish this was my size. What did I pay for it? 350 I love this abstract wire ring. Oh, please show it to them. Let me get this. This was working out pretty well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's really small. It's like a size five. Like it barely fits on my pinky. Um, I'm going to work with this because it did test. I think it's just gold filled though. Um, part of me wants to sell it. And part of me wants to take it to a jeweler. Let me show you the back. And okay, I'm gonna cut the tag off because I want to show you the back. Okay, it was 350. And see if maybe they could twist that wire wrapping so that it would fit me. Because <laughs> I really like it. Okay, see how the back is? Is that focusing? Do you think? I don't want to do it, try it myself and break it, but I'm wondering. If I took it to my jeweler, my jeweler, my husband's jeweler, where he buys me stuff, where he got this and everything, if maybe they could twist it to where I could wear this, because I love this. I think this is awesome. Dang it. I'm going to show it to you guys again. These aren't quite as popular little artisan pieces as they once were, but... Okay, I give up. But don't you love that? That's fun. Butterfly, I have a bunch of from the 70s. Yeah, I was, because, you know, I'm older, so I remember the 70s. I was young, but, you know, I remember. Oh, my gosh. So, let's work. I need to work with this some more. Put it on your sizer and push it down. Oh, my gosh. Well, I got it to six and a half. <laughs> No. I need to find out what that is, the content of that wire for sure. Probably just gold plated, right? Or gold filled. I'm just, and um, make a decision. 
I feel like it could be twisted because it's twisted in the back. I feel like it could be twisted and made a little bigger. We'll see. We'll see if that comes up for sale. Okay, one more. Okay, don't gasp yet. A jeweler might be able to gently stretch it. It's twisted in the back, so I don't see why like it couldn't be twisted around and be bigger. Yeah. Okay, you guys, hang on. I got something to say about this. <laughs> I got something to say. Hang on. How much was this? Four dollars. Okay. That's cute, right? I'm going to rework it. I think I can make it cuter. So it um, doesn't have a hang tag with a name on it. I liked the birds. I think I can make this cuter. I'm going to take off those black beads and put them in the bead lot. I'm going to take off the two dangles from the birds. They're just on jump rings. And I think I'm going to take one each of these and put just one on the end of each bird. I'm going to tone this down a little bit. Okay. These are, you know what? These are wire mesh beads. Somebody's going to want those. Those are cool for another project. Look at that. That's wire mesh. It's crazy, huh? Okay. So what do you guys think? Leave it alone. No, I, I feel like this is too much. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I could make this just low key it just a little bit and someone will really like it. Maybe even me. Any thoughts? It was $4 bronze uh, metal. Those black beads are actually cool, but they're just too big. That's just too big. I like the Bore Borealis, Aurora Borealis glass. This is glass or stone, some kind of tiger eye looking marble. Yeah, I'll work on it. Thank you, Nate. It can be made toned down. Any of you watched Younger? I've been binge watching it on Hulu. I never watched it on network. I'm, I, I never do. I always just, I'm always late on that kind of stuff. I don't know, mainstream stuff. But if you watch Younger, you know, Diane Trout and her epic, like crazy necklaces. I was talking to Lindy the other day and we were talking about it because she turned me on to Younger and I was telling her where I was at on that show. And I'm like, I bet you somewhere there's a website or a YouTube of Diane and all her necklaces. And sure enough, there's one on YouTube. It's just a quick little of all Diane's crazy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google that Diane Trout necklace compilation. She's the character on Younger. That's a good show, by the way. I didn't think I would like it, but I thought it was just about a bunch of 20-somethings. And it sort of is, but there's older people in it, too. I like it when they put all the generations. And, you know, it's a little sassy here and there and a little goofy, a little bit of SEX now and then. But it's it's good enough to still watch. Okay, thank you. I'm going to – I am I like the ones that say, yeah, I'll play with it. I think I can make this better. I can always put it back. I can always – I might want to wear that. All right, you got oh one more one more costume jewelry. I just thought it was really nice. Four dollars. I just thought it was really nice. Look, that's just pretty, right? Sometimes costume jewelry is just really pretty. It's got rhinestones in it, some really blue kind of cat eye marbles. Nice, nice little shape. If I kept it, I would put an extender on it. Lace ribbon through the chain. Oh, that would make this really kind of that, really kind of like more romantic looking, wouldn't it? That's a good idea too, Julie. So I think I did well with the jewelry, definitely. The only one I'm not sure of, I couldn't get it to test well, and it could have been user error, was this one. It sure looks like silver, even the bail. So I'll work with this again. This tested at 14K. We'll see. I'm going to have someone look at that. All right, you guys. Not too bad of a haul. Not too bad. Does anybody need help with anything? Once again, this chat is full of experienced resellers. So I know don't really need help. Oh, I know something I can say. I know some housekeeping. YouTube people. I bet that ring is vermeil. Is that gold filled or gold plated vermeil? While she answers, I've got something. The other day, Monday, Lindy's chat 
I'm the mod, something popped up, a notification from YouTube, and it's told of a new feature. So like Fatbird Finds, you'll definitely want to know this. Um, if you press the Alt key, hey, you know how sometimes chats get really busy? Not mine, but you know, once we get to where it's like rolling, like Jocelyn or Lindy or other people, Wade, um, sometimes it's hard to for them to read the comments because it'll jump because we're all still typing, right? So if you hold the Alt key, it will pause it so that you can read something without it jumping as other people are typing. Now, we won't know that you held the Alt key. It, it'll keep working for us. And as soon as you let the Alt key go, it'll start you know, rolling again for you. We won't even notice. But it's very helpful if your chat gets hopping or if you're doing um, like live sales and your chat's moving fast and you need to catch a comment. You know, you didn't quite catch it. So, yeah, they just announced that. I don't know when, but I caught it Monday. So it's the alt key. You just hold it down, scroll to what you want, hold it down. It'll stop moving long enough for you to read, let it go, and it'll resume. And we won't even know that you did it. It's, it won't harm anything. I tested it on Lindy's. All right, you guys. Can't tell you how much I appreciate This is a long one. Sorry, an hour and 10 minutes again. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, again, I already have a – I edited a video this morning. I went thrifting two places. It's just a 20 minute video. I didn't find a lot, but it was fun. There's some cute things. So it's already loaded. It's scheduled um, to be live tomorrow. It's not a premiere because I don't always know my schedule. So I just scheduled it for tomorrow um, about eight or nine. I can't remember. I'm mountain standard time. I'm in Colorado, but you can um, in, in about an hour when it finishes processing, you should be able to go find it and hit the notification bell. Let's see, gold vermeil is a common type of gold plating, which uses sterling silver as a base metal. Because see, it tested for 14K, so I'm like, does gold filled test? So it would be gold plated, right? It sure looks like gold. So I'm kind of excited about this. It may end up for sale, or you may see me wearing it. All right, you guys, Fat Bird Finds, thank you for the t-shirt. I will be wearing it. Thank you again. I love it. It's nice and summery. And I like it, Wildcat Harley Davidson. And it's in Kentucky where you guys are from. So it's really cute. Summer colors. It's a sheer burnout. I love it. These are the masks that Noel made. One for my husband in the Deadhead Skull. And one for me in the little Grateful Dead Bears. Now, hers are different. Look, bungee and adjustable. Because you know how some of them they hurt your ears after a while and hers are double layer with an opening so that we can put in filters if we if we want to she these are worth of what she's charging she's not charging that much she's hand making them she's using quality products this is epic so i hope you'll visit noelle farm girl scavenger girl with a u she's on instagram I probably, when this uploads and I can do something with it, I'll put the link down below. And then the other thing I can't talk about because I'm beta testing and I can't wait, can't wait. All right, you guys, that's all. Really appreciate it. I'm hoping George is having his Wednesday show. I don't know. Nobody says they've seen it yet. I'm just, I hope. Um, I heard rumor, don't quote me, talking to Crazy Lampley this morning. She might do a live tomorrow. Now, she's not good at announcing it, right? Because she kind of knew to it. And I said, please, please tell us on Instagram because YouTube doesn't always send out notifications. So keep an eye on her because we might get a live out of her tomorrow night. That would be awesome. So much fun. All right, you guys. Bye. Well, I'll see you tonight, Nate, if George pops up, right? I'll probably see quite a few of you. Audra, I'll probably see you, right? And Fat Bird Finds, maybe. Nate, you're usually there. Hi, Shar. I didn't even see you come in. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't see you. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ending stream.